Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about a big, big feature of iOS 14, which has been hidden for a few weeks with an iOS 14 beta and we didn't even know about it. Also, we're talking about the future releases of iOS 14 that will happen in the next few days and we're also talking about iOS 14.1. If you have seen WWDC 2020, probably have seen a feature on iOS 14 that will allow you to choose third-party apps as default apps for browsing, mailing, and all that stuff. But did you know that that feature is actually here? We didn't know until now. Now, a lot of people are reporting that this happened with iOS 14 beta 8, but it's not the case. This has been here for weeks, but the apps haven't been updated to support this feature. So here's what I'm talking about. You go to your settings, and you go ahead and find the settings of Google Chrome. So if you have Google Chrome on your device, you can go ahead and just go to the settings of Chrome and right here you will find default browser app. You will have Safari set as the default and you can set Chrome to be your default browser on iOS 14 from here. Now this came with the latest update of the Google Chrome, which was released yesterday, I believe, and then you will be able to use Chrome as your default browser. So you can see right here, if I just go to Twitter, try to open a link here, if I tap here to open it on the browser, you can notice that now it will open it on Google Chrome, not on Safari. And here I have my iPad just to show you that this feature hasn't been added to beta 8, but it has been here for a few weeks. Now, I don't know exactly in which beta they did add this feature, but if I go here and go to about, you can see that this, the build number right here indicates that this is beta 6 of iOS or of course iPad OS 14. And if we go here to the Google Chrome settings, Let's just find them you can see right now i can go ahead and choose the default browser google chrome change from safari to google chrome as easy as that so this big feature of ios 14 has been hidden here for a few weeks and now that the google chrome app has been updated to work with this feature you can go ahead and choose it as the default browser on your ios device now, I did try a few more browsers. I have installed here Firefox, DuckDuckGo, and Opera to have some of the most famous browsers that you will find on the App Store, but none of them support this feature. Now, of course, they will have to meet the Apple requirements. They need to be updated in order to support this feature. And then, of course, you will be able to set them as default browsers on your iPhone or on your iPad. Now let's do a quick roundup of beta 8 which is also the last beta of iOS 14 before the GM gets released and we will talk about that in a second the exact time when you can expect it to be released so there are a few new changes here if you go to the watch app you will notice here now it says app view it used to be right here like app list or something like that now you will have app view and you have a new icon right there and you will have a new icon for Siri as well. There's also a smaller change here on the widgets. When you go to set the news widget, you will notice that we have a rearrangement here. Now, first here used to be the topics, and now you will see the topics are second, and you will have the today's widgets first on the widgets of the news app. Now, overall, iOS 14 Beta 8 has been great. It's a really good update, and it just goes to show that iOS 14 is very ready to be released to the public, which, of course, will happen very, very soon. Now, performance and battery life is good. Of course, they are not the best ever. Performance is really, really good. Battery life can be a bit better, but, of course, with the new updates of iOS 14, we will see that get improved a lot. But it's really great, and it's ready to be released, which will happen really, really soon now i have seen on reddit a few bugs that people have reported but they are just like minor bugs that will happen based on different devices and not like something huge that will have a big impact on performance or battery life on your device if you install ios 14 right now now as you probably have heard apple is holding an event this week this upcoming week on september 15th and that day apple is also releasing the gm version of ios 14 basically that's the final version that also gets released to the public but it will be released to devs a few days earlier that will happen on september 15th now the event will start at 10 a.m on pacific time and you can expect 
the GM to come like an hour 30 minutes later. So the event will be like an hour 30 minutes long and after the event you will see the GM version of iOS 14 getting released to the devs and that's basically it for iOS 14 betas. That will be released very very soon to the public as well. So let's go ahead and talk about that in a bit. So at the event on the 15th, Apple is expected to present a few new devices and of course they will release them very very soon also to the public. So on Tuesday they will probably show us the new Apple Watch Series 6 and a new iPad and that they should go on pre-sale based on pre-order on the 18th on Friday and then the next week on the 24th you can expect Apple to release iOS 14 a day before it releases the new devices to the public. Of course getting a watch means that you will have to have the iPhone running iOS 14 because it runs uh, watch OS 7 and it needs iOS 14 in order to pair with your iPhone. So you can expect iOS 14 to come to your device at September 24th, probably somewhere around 10 a.m. Pacific time. So if you're someone that has been waiting for quite some time to install iOS 14 and didn't even try the betas, then it will be out very, very soon. What you should do is go ahead and do a backup of your device just in case something happens. Of course, this should be a very smooth update, but just do a backup of your device first and then go ahead and install iOS 14. Now, if you have an older device, you probably are wondering, will that just destroy my device? Will it make it laggy and very slow? I did install the beta on my iPhone SE, which is really old, but it didn't seem to have a huge impact on performance or battery life. It was running really, really smooth. Of course, we will have to try the final version and give you like more details regarding that, but I believe iOS 14 should run very smooth on your device. If you have iOS 13 on your device, then it should be good to go to install iOS 14 as well. So should you install it? Of course you should. It has great performance, great battery life, as well as of course the all great features that we have been waiting for some time and they are really really awesome and of course most of them are very useful as well. And last but not least let's talk about iOS 14.1 beta 1 which should also come very very soon. Now the new devices that Apple is releasing don't include the iPhones. The iPhones will be released on October and some of them might be released even in November. So you can expect the new iPhones to come out running iOS 14.1 not iOS 14. That way we should expect to see Apple releasing iOS 14.1 beta 1 really really soon. Maybe next week after the GM release of iOS 14 or the week after that but very very soon I believe in a couple like one week to 10 days we should see the first beta of iOS 14 getting released to the devs and of course bring some more new features to your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video guys, thank you for watching, this is everything you need to know about the new big feature of iOS 14 which has been hidden for some time on our iPhones and we didn't know that Apple has actually released that feature. A lot of us have been expected to come to see that feature come to our iPhones maybe with 14.1 or even 14.2 but Apple has already released it. It's just a matter of apps getting updated to support that feature. So that's basically it. This is everything you need to know regarding iOS 14 which should come out really really soon. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.